Welcome to Mr. R's Art Class. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thumbs, subs, and ring that bell. Okay, so for this project here, we need to recreate this sphere inside of Microsoft Word. So what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and download this. So we're going to go ahead and hit close. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to the project name. And I'm going to click on this ellipse over here and click on download. And that's going to be saved over to the download folder inside of File Explorer. So I'm going to click down here where I have the File Explorer down here. Find the downloads folder, go ahead and click on that. And there it is there. So Sphere Scale is the file name. So I'm going to right click on that. Go ahead and hit cut. And you can go ahead and click over here on the left hand side. And we're going to go ahead and create a folder for this project here. So we're going to click on the academic year the semester we're currently in, and then the, I'm gonna go ahead and save this inside of period three. Make sure you're saving inside of the class that you have my period. I'm gonna go inside of the assignments. I'm gonna right click and create new folder. And this is gonna be a sphere. Then I'm gonna go inside that folder there right click bottom right side of your trackpad and paste so there's that image that we, that we grabbed from microsoft teams so then we're going to go inside of a microsoft word let's go inside of microsoft word so you're going to click down at the bottom left hand of your screen where it says type here to search open up a microsoft word by typing in word w-o-r-d and open a blank document and I need to change the rotation of this piece of paper here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out here so you can, so you can see what that's going to do. I'm going to zoom out. So right now it's sitting in front of me in portrait and I need to change it to landscape. So I'm going to go over here to where it says layout. Go over here to where it says orientation. Click on that and then change it from portrait to landscape. Then what I want to do is I want to be able to draw all across the edge here from side to side. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these margins here. I'm going to go to the margins. I'm still in the layout. Go to the margins. Scroll down to the bottom where it says custom margins. And I'm going to change everything, the top, bottom, left, and right. Everything from a one inch margin to a quarter inch margin. So I'm going to hit period to five or 0.25. Everything that says one inch, I'm going to change it to 0.25. Now I'm going to hit OK. And what I'm going to do is just like the original image, just like the original image, I need to go from one edge of the piece of paper from the left side to the right side to create a table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into insert shapes and then create a line here. And I'm going to go about halfway through the, through this paper here. So about at four inches because this piece of paper is sitting in front of me eight and a half by 11. So the long way when it's in landscape mode, it's sitting in front of me 11 inches wide and then eight and a half inches tall. Okay. So you're going to find somewhere near the middle. So it could be four and a quarter. You could zoom in if you want to get really accurate. So I'm going to hold down shift because I want to make this a straight line and I'm going to click with the left side of my trackpad and I'm going to drag this line across towards the right side of my document there. I'm going to go ahead and let go there. Okay, so that's going to be the back table. That's going to be the back table there. And so what you could do is you could see that image that we downloaded side by side. So what I could do is I could go down here to this file explorer and it still has that folder that we created. There's the image. I'm going to double click on that and it's going to open inside of my photos app. And so I could put this to the side here. I could minimize my file explorer by clicking on this minimize button. And I could go back to Word. I can minimize that. I'm going to grab the edge here of this window, click and drag. And so that's going to be the back table there. So this is the back table there. You don't have to worry about drawing this value scale down at the bottom. You just have to worry about drawing this sphere here. So you can even zoom in a bit. 
right? So you could have the whole document fitting inside there. So you have the back table and then you have this sphere in front of the table. So I'm gonna go into insert and if you minimize your window, it might say illustrations. So I'm gonna click on illustrations and that's where your shapes are there. And I'm gonna click on this oval under basic shapes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down shift, click with the left side of my trackpad and I'm gonna drag with my middle finger there. All right, so with the trackpad, it's a little bit tricky, but that's okay. Okay, so this sphere is sitting in front of this table now, or at least in front of the, the back side of this table, right? So this circle is blue, so we need to go ahead and change the fill of this circle. So I'm gonna go up here to, to the top, and I'm gonna click on this part where it says shape fill, right next to this paint bucket. I'm gonna click on that, I'm just gonna make this white. I'm just gonna make it white so that you can't see the line through this sphere here. Okay, then I need to change that outline of this circle, but I do wanna see it a little bit just so I could see where the edges of that circle is at. So I'm gonna make it a really light, a really light uh, gray. All right, so you could still see the outline of the sphere there. But then it also has a shadow, but we could add that shadow manually with the pencil tool. So as you can see, you're gonna go ahead and transfer these same values from this drawn sphere here. So just like you did on the paper version, you're gonna transfer these values from this photograph, from this resource here, to this Microsoft Word version using the drawing tool. So you're gonna go up here to the drawing tool, click on draw, and we're still gonna use the pencils. So if you minimized your window, again, you might have to scroll over here to the right side to find the pencil there and you can click on the pencil one more time and you can find different values. Let's go ahead and click on gray. I'm gonna click on gray. So I have gray selected. It has this orange outline around it. And I'm gonna go down here to where it says more colors. And because I selected gray, that's what's inside of my palette right here. And you have all these different values here of the gray, okay? So you have all these values here. So this is actually a value scale here inside of Microsoft Word, and you could be using all these values here to create your sphere, right? So this will be the darkest part of your of your sphere, and then this will be the lightest part. So this will be the darkest part here, and then this will be the lightest part as you move in this direction. And then the same thing behind the sphere, right? So it gets really dark behind the sphere, because of that, that shadow that's casted on it, and then it gets lighter as it moves up and towards this direction. It doesn't get as light as it does in the sphere, but it does get lighter. And then with this shadow, it gets really dark next to this reflected light on the back end of this sphere, but then it gets a little bit lighter here once it gets towards the, the end of the, the shape of the sphere there. Okay, so again, you could use all these values here so this value, this white lighter value here should be starting somewhere around this sphere. So I have that selected, I'm gonna go ahead, okay. And you could use your stylus. So I'm gonna zoom in here. So this is that side of the sphere there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding pencil. Right, and you can even get a little bit lighter because it does get lighter there. It's not this dark. So you can even go back. Again, I have gray selected. That's the most recent color there. And then you can click on more colors. And you can even get a little bit lighter than that. Closer to the white and then hit okay. And that's the color that you have selected there. And so again, you want to use circles once you have your pen tool selected. So the same way you did this on paper, you want to overlap these values using the circular motion. And then you want to get darker as you move towards the bottom left here. So you could go back. I have the gray selected, clicking on more colors. And I'm going to get dark real fast here. And you could go back to the pencil. You could have gray selected and then click on more colors. And then I'm going to make it a lot darker here. I'm going to scroll down and you have to leave some reflected light down here 
on the bottom of the sphere, right? So it gets a little bit lighter, it's not completely white, but there is some reflected down there at the bottom left hand of this sphere, but it does get a lot darker. Right, so you could zoom in to make this really dark and you could overlap your values to make it a lot darker, just like you did on your paper. Right, so it goes from this darker value to this lighter value over here. And that's how it creates a three-dimensional shape. Okay, so use those pencil tools there. Go ahead and create a sphere inside of Microsoft Word. Also add the, the background and then some of the values they have on side of the table there. So, so once your sphere is complete, you can go ahead and save this. You can go to File, Save As. And I'm going to make this window bigger, so I'm going to hit that Maximize button there. And I'm going to go to this PC, go to the academic area we're currently in, the semester we're in. I'm going to go down to the period that I've been saving these folders. And I'm going to go to the period that I've been saving these files and resources in. So period three, assignments. And I'm going to scroll down to Sphere. And I'm going to save it as my last name, first name. the assignment name and I want to make sure that I save it as a Word document as a Word document first I'm going to save it as a Word document and again whenever you're uploading this document in two teams you want to make it a little bit smaller here so you could, it could load a lot faster and it can also be uploaded a lot quicker into Microsoft Teams but when you're trying to preview the project it might take a little bit longer if it is still a Word document so you can go to save as Right, so it still has that pathway of where we saved this file. It still has the file name, but it's saved as a Word document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to select PDF. So again, you have to save it as a Word document first, and then as a PDF. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on Save, and it's going to show me a preview inside of Adobe Reader. Right, so this will load a lot faster. This could be uploaded a lot quicker into Microsoft Teams. Also, when you're pre previewing it after you uploaded it into Microsoft Teams. So once you have it saved, you would have both the files, both the Word document and the PDF. So the PDF would be the, the red file there. And this Word document is the original document. So this one's still editable, right? If you need to go back and change it, if you need to go back and change it, you could always edit this Word document there. Um, the PDF there, you won't be able to edit that, but this will be the file that you add and upload into Microsoft Teams. So when you go to add work, you would locate this file inside of Microsoft Teams and upload this file for your project. Okay, but if you do need to go back and edit, you could always go back to this Microsoft Word version and it would open Microsoft Word and you could continue to edit there. Okay, so if you have any questions of how to download any resources from Microsoft Teams or how to get your sphere started inside of Microsoft Word or how to convert your Word document into a PDF, go ahead and let me know. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And feel free to watch any of the other related videos.